Hello and welcome to the 2020 Virtual AEDY Conference hosted in Schoology. In this video, we'll review how to navigate in Schoology to complete the folders, or modules, for each conference session, as well as how to receive Act 48 credit for the work that you complete. Let's get started. To begin, navigate to Schoology.com and click the Login button. Then, enter your username and your password and click the Login button. From your home page, click on Courses in the blue ribbon at the top and then select the AEDY conference. This is the home page of the conference. On the left side, you'll see the Navigation tab. This tab will always be present no matter where you are within the course. If you click on the drop-down button for Materials, you'll see that you have easy access to all of the folders within the course. Updates will allow you to see any updates which are added to the course in the future. You can also access your grades and see your mastery of concepts from this tab. On the right side, you'll see Reminders and Upcoming Events. Reminders is currently empty, and if you try to open it, it may disappear. This is because none of the materials in our courses have a due date. If you click on Upcoming Events, you'll see the launch of the conference on Tuesday, April 21st, and also the deadline to submit Act 48 on Thursday, April 30th. In the center of the page, you'll see all of the materials within the conference, including the Welcome, Opening Remarks, and a link to the Patent AEGY page. Below that, you'll see all of the folders, which are all of the courses within our Schoology course. To view a folder, simply click on it to open the materials. Let's take a look at the Student Referrals folder. The first item in every folder is titled Start Here, How to Use This Folder. This page will include this video as well as pictures and screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions on how to access different kinds of material in case you need to review. The next item in every folder begins the actual course materials. In this case, it's a page called Access All Student Referrals. This page, like other application pages, includes step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots on how to work in leader services. In this case, it's how to access student referrals for sending LEAs, in-house AEDY providers, and private AEDY providers. When you've finished reading a page, you can use the Next and the Previous buttons to navigate within the folder. Here, clicking the Next button leads me to a page which overviews all student referral processes. To return to the folder, I can click on the name of the folder or use my Materials drop-down button. Different folders will have different types of items. For example, the Application folders have Pages, but also Word documents, and sometimes you'll see PDFs as well. To view any type of file, like the Local Complaint Process model, all you need to do is click on the name of the file. You could also access this page using the Next button from the prior page. All files in Schoology will be embedded and viewable using the native Schoology document viewer. The native file viewer includes a toolbar with tools for navigation, zoom in, zoom out, resizing the screen, switching between a pan and a select text option, the option to print the document, as well as the option to download the document. You can also download the document by clicking on the file name at the bottom of the screen. If you're looking for something specific, try typing it into the Find box in the toolbar. Within a folder, different items have different requirements in order to complete the course. If you try and skip to the end, you'll find that you are unable to click and the item name will be grayed out. This is because within a folder, you must work in a sequential order. Start at the top and work your way down. You can see the requirements for each item by looking below it where the check mark is. For pages, you are often required to view the item, whereas for a quiz, you must score at least 80%, which is a 4 out of 5. When you are ready to access a quiz, please take note that when it's finished, you may need to wait a few minutes for the system to grade it, and you may also need to refresh the page before you can move on to the reflection and finish the module. You have up to 20 attempts to get at least 80%, and there are five questions for each quiz. To begin, click Start Attempt. When you begin a quiz, notice that there is a toolbar on the right-hand side which can be expanded using the arrow at the bottom of the tab. This allows you to access the review screen 
accessibility features like changing the color scheme, the font size, and the zoom. You can also flag a question for review, eliminate choices for multiple choice questions, and opt to view the quiz in full screen. To answer a question, simply click on the radio buttons to select the correct answer. When you are finished with a question, simply click Next. When you're finished with the quiz, you will access the review screen. Notice here I can easily see which questions I have flagged for review. If I wanted to filter, I could use this tab at the top, which allows me to show only the questions which I flagged. When you're finished with the quiz, be sure to click the Finish button. It will then ask you again, are you sure that you'd like to submit? Go ahead and click Yes. After I've submitted my quiz, it will take me back to the entry screen for the quiz. Notice it's not showing a grade. It may take a few minutes for Schoology to finish grading your attempt. In the meantime, I can be assured that my activity has been submitted because I can see the banner at the top of the page. To return back to the folder, I'll use this blue ribbon at the top. Now that I've waited a few minutes and refreshed my screen, I can see that my quiz has been scored and I have passed. Now I can move on to the reflection. The reflection is a Google form embedded directly into Schoology. There is no need to open this into another screen. However, you can choose to full screen the page if you would like. Type directly into the boxes in order to complete the form. Be sure to complete every question with a red asterisk. When you are finished, you have the choice to toggle on or off whether you would like a copy of your responses. To the right is on, to the left is off. When you are finished, remember to always hit the submit button. From the home page of the conference, you can check your progress by clicking the student progress button at the top of the screen. This will show you your percentage for all courses completed, as well as which courses have been completed with the green check mark. Here I can see these two folders are complete, while these two folders are still in progress. I can check to see exactly what is missing by opening the folder and scrolling down to see what is in progress and what has a check mark. Once I have completed all the courses for which I'd like to receive credit, I'll look in the Act 48 credit folder. This folder has two pieces, a page with instructions on how to receive Act 48 hours and a Google form which you are required to fill out to receive the credit. The page includes important reminders like please only submit this form once and a reminder that the form will only be accessible until 1159 on April 30th, 2020. All responses must be recorded on or before that time. It also includes a handy quick reminder on how to check your progress. When you're ready to submit for Act 48 credit, this is another embedded Google form. You need only complete the form once after you've finished every course for which you'd like to receive credit. When you reach the question, mark all courses you've completed, be sure to click the check boxes for every course which you have completed. The course titles will be followed by the number of Act 48 hours for each one after the conference has begun. When you're finished, you will add these hours together and type them as a whole number for the last question. Remember that you do not need to include the unit of hours when you respond to this question. When you click on the submit button, a copy of your responses will be emailed to the address that you typed in at the beginning. Don't forget to click submit. If at any time you find that you're not sure where you are, remember you can always use the materials drop down to navigate back to the specific folder you're working on. You can also use the courses tab in the ribbon at the top and navigate back to the conference homepage. If you have any technical difficulties, you can always click on the Schoology logo at the bottom right of your screen to access the Help Center. Simply type what you're looking for in the box to access help information. Thank you again for participating in the 2020 Virtual AEDY Conference, and remember, the AEDY team is here to support you.